Hey guys, so today I am, oops, hold on, hit the wrong button. I am 18 weeks and four days pregnant, so almost 19, not really, still got um, a few days, but definitely, definitely getting there, and I'm so excited to that next week. I go for my scan, so hopefully we'll find out. Hopefully baby's not a little stubborn thing. Um, and then, um, uh, what's going on this week? Uh, so this week baby is the size of a sweet tater, or a sweet potato, um, and is definitely kicking and moving a lot. I'm really starting to feel movement, which is really cool. Um, just like little flick, flick, flick. <laughs> um, so I'm loving it. I can put my hand. Usually it's like, this baby is like, still like, I want to say kind of low. Um, so I kind of have to put it like under my fatty stomach, um, kind of more like towards my pelvic area to feel the baby, um, like kick or whatever. And it's just a little boom, 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 um, or like, a, it feels like a muscle twitch, I guess you could say. Um. But, so, uh, that's really cool. Um, symptoms this week. Um, I've had a headache. Um, I had a day. Like, I've had it a couple of times where I just haven't drank enough water. Which is, duh, my fault. Um, and I've gotten lightheaded. Um, and if I don't eat, <laughs> uh enough. I'm getting lightheaded. Um, but my blood, they, uh, did my glucose, they've already done my glucose test, so that was fine. So I don't think it's my blood sugar or my blood pressure. Um, I think it's okay. Uh, because I haven't really had any, like, I haven't had any swelling or anything like that. So I'm not too too worried about it. I go the following week, like the fall, not this Tuesday coming up. I go the following Tuesday for another doctor's appointment. Um, so yeah, so I'll get my blood pressure and all that jazz checked out then. Um, but yeah, things are going good. Um, one cool thing, my mom had this when she was pregnant with my brother, and I've kind of noticed it at times. Um, I'll feel like this, depending on where the baby is and how I'm laying, I can sometimes feel like this really hard ball in like my side or something, and I know it's the baby, which is really cool. Um, I didn't, I, I didn't really have that with Levi. Um, I actually, I didn't have that with Levi at all, but with this baby, I, I guess I have it. Um, so yeah, so that's really cool. Uh, I'm still getting sick. Um, ever since I've had Levi, ever since I was pregnant with Levi, like Levi just dried up my skin when I was pregnant with him. Like... It was bad and I'm having that again where like it's like nothing is working to no matter what moisturizer I use I'm still like I feel dry um like my face feels dry and it feels like when I put on makeup I'm just like it feels weird on my skin um, which I had that with Levi too. I hate wearing makeup when I was 
pregnant with Levi because, yeah. <laughs> Hold on. I hated wearing makeup when I was pregnant with Levi because it just felt like I was just, it was just sitting on top of my skin. It wasn't like absorbing into my skin. Does that make sense? Um, so, yeah. So I tend not to wear makeup, but, uh, even when I'm not pregnant, I'm not a big makeup person, but, um, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to rehydrate my skin. Um, so I went to Lush. Um, I usually use the Burt's Bees, um, moisturizer, daily moisturizer, and that sort of helps, but not really. So I went to Lush and I got one of their, or two of their, one's a nighttime and one's for daily use. Um, I got, uh, some, uh, moisturizing bars from them and... So that's why my skin has this oily, glowy look to it right now. Um, today is a mommy free day, um, which is very much a blessing. My in-laws took Levi last night for us because um, Joe and I are actually going to go and see the new Spider-Man movie. Uh, this afternoon and so I made it a point to get my kitchen clean and my living room clean so that I could just have a day of just relaxation and just kind of let everything just kind of go and I've done that I've done just that I got it done last night I stayed up really late last night but I slept till 10 o'clock this morning, got up, got a nice shower, uh, I gave myself, um, a facial, um, because I got a facial mask from Lush, also to try to kind of help, maybe, with the moisturizing and stuff, it felt really good, um, so I did that, and I went to the grocery store, and, you know, that got done really quickly. Wow, I forgot how quick grocery shopping is without a little one. And I got myself some lunch, and I've just been chilling at home uh, till it's time to go to the movie and meet up with Joe. And yeah, so it's nice. Um, very grateful for my in-laws, and I know they're loving their time with Levi. So, and but they're also counting down the days till my sister-in-law gives birth and I give birth. Um, because, yeah, we're due, like, three months apart. <laughs> I think we're, like, I think we are exactly ten weeks apart. Pretty sure we're ten weeks apart. Just kind of funny. Um, but, yeah, so it's cool, and it's fun, and I'm enjoying being pregnant. You know, I, I know I had a hard time with this one, getting excited, but the more... The further we go, the further I go, the more excited I get. I look forward to meeting this little one. I look forward to having two under two. I'm going to be stressed to the max, but I so look forward to it. I'm so excited, and I'm so unbelievably grateful to God for this little one, and I can't wait. Like, oh my gosh. Like, guys, I'm like... A full week and a half away from being to the halfway point. That's insane. That's insane. That like. And I know. For me. Come. August. Time is going to pick up real quick. Because we have football games. And I look forward to football season every year. And so. I'm like, oh my god, ah! I can't wait, I'm so excited, just so many cool things are coming, like, August is going to go by so quickly, I know it, because August 10th is my gender, well, August 3rd is my sister-in-law's baby shower, August 10th is, um, my, is my gender reveal, August 17th is Joe's birthday, 
August 24th is when Florida football season starts. So, that takes care of the month of August. <laughs> so, that's crazy. And then we'll be in September and holy cow. And in this month we have, my birthday was last week. Um, my niece's birthday is this week. She's on the 15th. Um, my parents' anniversary is August, or July 27th or 28th. I can never remember. I think they're the 27th. And then my, and, and then we go into the month of August. And it's going to be crazy. And then it's going to be three short months before I have my baby in my arms and I'm starting all over and it's crazy and like yeah it's crazy that Levi like it just kind of hit me like when he started Levi started walking and it just kind of hit me he's no longer a baby he is a toddler now he is considered a toddler like I don't have a baby. I have a toddler. This isn't right. And like it made me cry just to see my my little baby grow up and watch him grow. It was just like crazy. And I know this first year with this one it's going to go by even faster than Levi's because I'm going to have Levi to chase around and stuff. So, but it'll be good. It'll be fun. I'm so excited, you guys. Like, I'm so excited. Oh, also, this past weekend, Joe put up our second, oh, excuse me, our second bookshelf. So, I now have, oops, I now have two shelves, and up there are my books, and, like, my dolphin knickknacks, because dolphins are my favorite animal, and I just love them, and so I have a bunch, um, except for the kitty cat thing, that was actually my grandmother's, and uh, she gave it to me um, several years, I was just like eight years old or something like that when she gave me the little kittens thing that's there, um, it might have been 12, I don't know. But it was before she died, and so I very much treasured that because it was hers, and I love it. And yeah, so it's got a special place on the bookshelf, and yeah, so and it plays memories from the musical Cats, so it's really cool. And I just think of her whenever I play it, so I'm glad it's out of storage. Because we're also in the process of getting Levi's room situated because he's going to be getting a big boy room. Slash nursery. <laughs> uh, we're going to be getting him a toddler bed and just kind of changing things around um, in his room. And so when the time gets closer, um, I'll kind of show you guys or when we start that process of doing his room and making it their room um then i'll kind of show you guys the process of how we're doing it and everything and what we're doing and everything like that so yeah so i think that'll do it for this video if you liked it give it a thumbs up if you're new here hit that red subscribe button and make sure your notification bell is turned on to let you know every time i post new videos and i will talk to you guys in my next video, which will I will probably hold off doing until after my scan. So I'll be almost 20 weeks. I'll probably wait till my 20 week, till after my 20 week appointment to post the next video. So that'll be, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, I will talk to you guys in my next video. Lots of love, lots of baby dust. Talk to y'all later. Bye guys.